Hello, welcome. This is Kenshin1913 along with RangerFan3035. And we're here again to, uh. Let's play our, NHL 94. But this is for our Stanley Cup prediction. This is for our Stanley Cup predictions. And we're going to play as the Stanley Cup finals in, uh. in, uh, 2010, which is. Chicago and the Philadelphia Flyers. We're going to pretend it's Game 7. We are going to pretend it's Game 7, which would be at Chicago. Because Chicago should have the home ice advantage. Should they're a better team than Philly. Yeah. Yes, so we're going to play as Philadelphia and Chicago. Five minutes. Well, we'll five minutes, ten minutes. Five minutes a period okay. is fine. Penalties on, but we don't like offsides, and we're not going to play with line changes just to make it a little easier on ourselves. Yeah. So here we go, and as you can see, well, we'll go through the matchups yeah. in the next section. So I am going to be the Philadelphia Flyers. And I'm going to be Chicago. And we are going to get this on. And we have, hi, I'm Ron Barr for EA Sports. Welcome to a sold-out Chicago stadium. Tonight's National Hockey League game features the Philadelphia Flyers and the Chicago Blackhawks. Chicago has been playing well recently. For Chicago, Michael Goulet, Steve Larmer, and Jeremy Roenick streaks are on hot streaks. And Steve Smith, Chris Chelios, and Jim Waite are off their game. That's not good. For Philadelphia, Terry Clark, Sean Cronin, Brett Federick and are on hot streaks. And Kevin Deneen. Tommy Sylerstrom and Rod Brindamiro off their game. That is not good for me. As you can see, Ed Belfort is the goalie for Chicago. Awesome. I got. It's how I watch your looks, basically. I'll be happy with Sylerstrom. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Sider, I like Sylerstrom. Anyways, we got Ronek going up against Lindros. We got Goulet going Getting replaced. Uh, going up against Brindamore. We got Larmer going up against Recky. We got Smith versus Yukovic. We've got Chelios versus Galley. And Soderstrom versus Ed Belfort. So let's see what we're going against here. <laughs> My uh, Ranger fan is going to change his lines and make a quick line adjustment. Uh, we were doing this before, just making sure who's playing. And he's going to put in Christian Ratutu. Because he's a better player. Because he is a better player. His stats are better. He's also left-handed. So let's get this game on the road. Game 7 at Chicago. Let's do this. I am the orange team, and Ranger Fan is the white team. He'll be going up for two two turns, and I will be heading on the down low. Uh-oh, penalty. Already, I cannot believe it. Anyways, I'm glad we're... Ooh. Oh, it was on me. Yes, it was on me. Oh, come on. Yeah, we are. Well, back then, yeah. So this, so this game is 16 years old. We're taking a game 16 years from the past to find out what would happen in the future. If, if these uh, events happen. And we have Eric Lindros here, number 88, taking a shot, can't do crap. Tommy Soderstrom, saving that one. That was a pretty easy save for him. I don't know which guy this is. Uh oh, breakaway. Ooh. Oh! oh. Whoa! Oh. Eric Lindros by, Ke what was his name? Keith Kevin. A Keith Action. Oh, Keith Action. Keith Kevin. Action. I don't even know who Action is, and that's an awesome name if that's really his name. So, Philadelphia goes up 1-0 in the first period. But can the Blackhawks come back and totally kick butt or something? Oh! Ooh, the one-timers in this game are awesome. You, you, you can get them. Yeah, there's no fights in this game, sadly. They took those out uh, after NHL 93 for, I think, a year, maybe. I think they're back in NHL 95. But this is the best NHL game, old-school NHL game, I think. This one or the one for the Genesis where there's fighting and blood. Oh, that's that's a holding right there. But mm -hmm. well, yep, Lindros coming back down. Shoot, saved by Brodor. Uh, Brodor Belfort, who I believe is retired now. Yes. Oh, he just crushed me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, saved by Soderstrom. I don't actually know the equivalent, uh, the future equivalent of uh, him uh, right now. Oh. That could have been a breakaway as well. Uh-oh, Lindros on a breakaway. Shoots and saves by Belfour. Nice job. Well, he isn't rated. Oh! oh Roanek buries one. Roanek. Could be my king. Yeah. Could back, king. Uh, I was going to say, back when we were kids, we used to we used to call him Jeremy Roughneck. Don't know why. Don't know why. Uh-oh. Oh, saved by Soderstrom. What a save. Yes. Well, the Philadelphia Flyers 
I've always been known to be goons. And I'm actually really surprised Ron Hextall isn't on this. Uh, isn't because he's in the next. Yeah, I was. I was just very surprised. So after the first period, the score is tied at one. Now we will continue. Now. I mean, there, I mean, there was really nothing to that. Oh, there's a little in, in between periods. You know, the Zamboni comes around, and you can also check the scores of the other game. And a pretty cool feature is if you wait long enough. Oh, that was risky. If you wait long enough, they'll actually show you highlights from the other game. Yes, yeah, sometimes. They do which that. is very cool. I always thought that was damn cool. Oh, come on, get in there. You broke that up. Yeah. So in this game, you can um. Speed burst. You can speed burst with circle, and I believe shoot. Well, I don't know what the real button is. Yeah, well, we're playing on PlayStation 2 controllers, so I think it's X or A or whatever. Uh, you can look it up. But we're just here to predict who's going to win. And then after the first period, the game should be tied at 1-1. <laughs> um, we'll see if we're as lucky as we'll our Yeah, we'll see if we're as lucky as our Tecmo Super Bowl one was. Because it was, it was kind of odd, as I've noticed a couple people were telling me, you know what, this guy did score, uh, you know, three touchdowns and got a bunch of interceptions. That's what blew the game. Uh-oh. Oh, oh! What a save. What a save. The only reason why I remember Tommy Soderstrom so much is because of that cage, the cage that he used. Yes, the gigantic cage. Yeah, he reminds me of Gun uh, Healy a little bit. No, oh, come on. cage was more monstrous than Gun Healy. So, I got a question. Ooh! If we don't fit, if we don't sell this out, we'll have to do the the shootout. Yeah. Which was one of the options. Oh! Got raped. Oh, sh what a pussy shot. Uh oh. Breakaway. Oh! oh that goes up with two. Jeremy Roenick, look at this. He is. Oh God, he is gonna be one of the stars of the game. <laughs> and Balfour in assist. Yeah, Balfour. Wasn't Ron Hextall one of the only goalies, by the way, to uh, score a goal? In the playoffs. In the playoffs? I think so. I think Broder did it, but Hextall did it. He had a goal on his oh. oh, come on! I don't on. know how that went in, but I'll take it. Roots who puts it in. Come on! <laughs> Philadelphia's goalie is totally doing bad now. And I don't, I'm pretty sure this is not a real five minutes. <laughs> because I'm looking at my... I'm looking at the timer that I've got, and it is it is only eight minutes in, <laughs> and we've already played two five almost two five minute periods. So, and explanation time in the beginning. Oh, look at that one timer! Oh, Hextall! We should have like a ten minute game. We, uh, I didn't think it was going to be this short. But yeah, the reason why we played with no onsides is because onsides is the devil. I think it is. 